Wow, there's no way to get a view of, whoa, you can see right here how black that is. I don't know if that's mold or if that's from a burn mark, like from lightning. But uh, right here is our uh, headstone. Literally impossible to tell what it is. And so I'm not sure if this is actually ground level or if it's been smashed down into the ground and is more looking like one of these. I can't really even tell, look at that. You can see the movement of this and impact marks right here. Oh, well, spooked him. Oh wow, there's definitely, I don't think this is recent, but, and I can't really, well, I probably could touch it. I, I, I've never really had any problem with poison ivy, but I'm pretty sure this might be some poison ivy in here. And a clear, really large crack right through the middle, and I don't know if that's from the plants growing through, Not maybe not those, or if maybe in the past it's had some sort of heavy, heavy impact damage. I don't know, we may be getting a third part out of this now. The rain has let up. I have a little bit more sunlight. I'm at least gonna walk around this area for a second here. I do see at least one more zinc marker coming up here and some interesting stuff. So we'll see how far we can make it here. This looks like maybe it incurred some damage at one point. Bailey Hedges, 1857 to 1908. It definitely looks like it's been knocked sideways. A uh, large tree here. It doesn't look like maybe the tree would have done it. More visitors, like everybody's coming in this place now. This is insane. Not that I'm complaining, I don't really mind, but I don't know what's going on. Maybe there actually is an Odd Fellows event happening today. I'm not positive. Okay, here we are at the little old historic roadway coming down here and almost to our zinc monument here for it looks like the Adams family at least one member we see John Q Adams 1832 to 1879 and some Really beautiful uh, inscriptions here, or I'm not sure exactly what you would call it, but an angel on that side, and then a dove depicted here. And again, another hollow metal structure, but it appears that John is the only one being memorialized here. So, very interesting, singular memorial and uh, let's go ahead and uh, walk around to our final zinc memorial of this particular episode whichever episode that might be and on our way here we do run upon this uh, that's an interesting name Purrington Small Corporal 30th Indiana Infantry, 1842-1891. It looks like not too long ago it was actually a usable, drivable path. Sometimes I think they let them decay on purpose just to make it easier on themselves that they don't have to constantly maintain all these tiny, tiny little roads that uh, aren't really necessary, especially for modern visitors. I thought that was some rebar there. It is not, okay. So it looks like our edge here seems pretty decent. It's kind of a scary drop off here into nothingness. And then immediately onto someone else's property down there. Is really deceiving because it just drops off right at the edge of the grass like you couldn't actually just I mean you could walk into the trees but like it's a pretty steep drop you can see right here 
but no signs of any old historic graves or anything that have fallen so that's always good to see I'm almost getting a feeling that it's going to start raining again at any moment here okay let's uh cut back up here there was all right i'm going to check one section here and that's for this reason you can see that the edge of this uh bears family section here goes right up and uh there is one memorial appears to be missing or one was never placed there see charles 1878 to 1955 and many 1875 to 1972 so makes me wonder oh, I don't see it if it's in there and it's hiding really well Yeah, I think it's clear. I don't see anything. I don't know. My, there might not have been anything ever over here. Hmm. Or it fell down the hill and disappeared completely. I don't know. And we have another bears on the other side. Evelina, 1902 to 1947, and Elvin. It's a very interesting couple. 1900 to 1955, so Evelina and Elvin. And so this part here kind of looks like it turns into like almost a little creek. There is some sort of business on the other side. Um, yeah, I think that's it for right now. I don't have much memory and much battery left right now. I know that we've probably filmed at least three episodes worth here and at least one episode worth at Lindenwood. So we'll come back here and get the rest of this at some other point. Look at this incredible tree. It kind of looks like, it almost looks like someone giving a gigantic thumbs up. How weird is that? That is scary looking. There's no way this thing can still be alive. How is that still here even? It doesn't even, it almost has the appearance of stone. You can see all the insects and things that have been eating at it over the years. There's no sign of life in this. There's mushrooms growing on it, like, wow. We are now coming up on the final zinc memorial. Doing one big gigantic circle. And again, still tons of this place left. And an interesting setup here, a little, uh, probably at one time was a full circle going around here and then maybe over the years things have moved and they just kind of did their best to put them uh, back in the right place and see uh, three little zinc they are zinc actually they're not made to look like it but three small zinc memorials mother father and infant and then we have quite a few normal stone memorials as well.
a fairly significant amount of it looks like erosion damage this is the bowers here Adam 1863 to 1917, Matilda 1857 to 1926, and Charles Jr. Oh no, Charles J. 1876 to 1940, and yeah, it's bowed. This is bowed quite a bit, and there's some interesting. Uh, I hope I can get this to focus right. You can see there's two distinct holes. I don't know if those are bullet holes or what the case is. Let me know what you think, that's really weird looking. And very distinctive bowing at the bottom here over the years. And it looks like maybe the cement inside had maybe frozen with some water in it. Of it would be my only guess and then it expanded outward cracking both the stone and the seams of the metal along the edges and more Bowers here in the center family marker here you see John Bowers 1807 to 1866 and Mary 1812 to 1881 On the other side here, uh, there's Mary, daughter of A.M. and M.C. Bowers, 1876, and then Edson, the son, uh, 1876 as well. Oh, I wonder if, uh, so they both died in 1876 and there's a, okay, no, this is, they're two distinct ages. Okay, I thought maybe they might have been twins or something. Oh, let's see if we can get a front view of this statue here. Really bad lighting, but I'll try and touch it up back at the command center. Can't really see any of the holes from this side, and so, again, I'm not really sure. Let me know what you think on that. But, pretty, pretty cool piece here. And again, the last thing that we're going to do for this particular part of the series here at the International Order of Oddfellows Cemetery in South Fort Wayne, Indiana. An incredible incredible place that we'll be coming back to uh, pretty shortly here to do a few more a uh, few more parts so thank you all once again for joining me on this part of the series here at the international order of odd fellows cemetery in fort wayne again we're doing episodes every tuesday and saturday at 8 AM. So if you don't get a notification you haven't turned on or you're uh, not getting uh, suggested uh, my videos in your feed, make sure to uh, check out the, the channel page, uh, 539 Productions, and there should be something up there waiting for you to watch. And uh, to anybody out there that's new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And as I say sometimes, uh, make sure you check out some of the older stuff. We have hundreds and hundreds of old Old episodes from around the country, uh, some really interesting mausoleums and cemeteries from places as far away as California. Uh, we've been to Nevada and Idaho and uh, Michigan and Ohio and Alabama and all kinds of places. So make sure you check out the old stuff if you haven't seen it. There's lots and lots to see. So thank you all. See you in the next adventure.